Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. To Bell Atlantic. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. When you're about to announce to New Yorkers the biggest new thing in long distance, you want to make sure you get it right. Welcome to Bell Atlantic. Welcome to... And the 
then shortly afterwards, I got diagnosed with a terrible disease, a fatal leukemia, and I survived. That's right. Seven years ago, because of her blood cancer, Delia Efren was given four months to live. I'm so, so sorry. She already lost her sister Nora and her husband Jerry to cancer. But she somehow found love again and got married in the hospital while undergoing chemo. I should say, full disclosure, we're, we're dear friends. And in fact, I was visiting you in the hospital when you got married. <laughs> I was at your wedding. I it. I love you very much, do you mind? Five-time Tony Award winner Susan Stroman is directing the play. It's about second chances. Uh, yeah, it's about second chances and love and, and life and being brave enough to take those second chances because most people aren't. The two women share something in common they wish they didn't. I sadly lost my husband uh, to AML, to leukemia. So when I started to read the play, I knew everything about what was going on. I didn't even have to research anything, so I had lived it too. How do you direct the turn from humor to tragedy and back again? It, it's tricky, actually. But it's a trick Stroman mastered as we watched, tagging along every step of the way. What's better than starting rehearsal for a Broadway show? From the first meeting week to an early rehearsal to the stage of the James Earl Jones Theater. Part of me was the person who wasn't sick, who had walked into that clinic room believing she was healthy. How could I not be healthy when I was so gloriously happy? They're saying it's a rom-com, and it is. It's romantic, and it's funny, and it's wonderful. But bring tissues, yeah. in case you need them. Stage legend Peter Gallagher plays Peter Rudder, Efren's newfound love. Will you marry me? Is that a yes? Yes! What do you think? The play is about two people falling in love who are not in their 20s or 30s, they're older than that. And what's the significance of that? Well, you know, you're closer to death. Everything is precious. And I think that's another thing that the audience is going to recognize and feel. Delia had been in the hospital 100 days. Are there life lessons in this play for all of us? One day, I could stand. We plan our lives out. As a young person, oh, I want to get married, I want to have children, I want to have a career, you know, you make all these things. But then you don't think, oh, what's going to happen to me after I'm 50? And another day, I could dance. What life do I want then? It's a much more open book. And this is about seizing those years and really creating something. Everybody ready? May the best words win. That is a nice word. Here's the question. The ozone layer? The book? Picasso? It all comes down to this. Woo! Yeah! Well played. Now we have a game. You did it! How does that sound? Darn good. Scrabble and Trivial Pursuit. Game night begins Thursday, October 3rd on The CW. <laughs> See you tomorrow. We love you. We'll see you here on The Family Field. Show until next time. This is Peter Tamarkin on behalf of the Focati Rug saying thanks for pressing your luck. Bye-bye. Anyway, we have just 10 seconds to say goodbye. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. So long. Bye-bye. Yeah. We got we five seconds. Oh, no. We have three. Two, one. Bye. Bye.